Are you a proud Sam Broadcaster Pro owner? Let me show you four awesome things you can do with Sam Broadcaster Cloud. The first thing I want to show you is how Sam Broadcaster Cloud can serve as a backup for your live stream. So if there's any trouble or you simply turn off your live stream, the cloud can take over. So I'm already signed into my cloud account and I'm also already streaming with my live stream to the cloud. Now what's happening here is instead of you directly streaming to your Shoutcast server or your Icecast server, um, the stream goes directly to the cloud and the cloud is streaming to your Shoutcast and Icecast servers. So because the cloud is in the middle, it can take over once your live stream goes down. Let's simulate that quickly. Um, I can go ahead and disconnect my live stream. And you will notice that this indicator shows that my live stream is on air. But after a few seconds, once the buffer is finished playing, the cloud will take over and start playing tracks from the cloud. So this means I can shut down my computer at this point in time and the cloud would have taken over. You also won't have any listeners dropping or having a bad experience. You can use this ability in two ways. The one is where you stream 24 seven and the cloud is just there as a standby. So if there's any technical issues, it will take over and your listeners won't get dropped and they will still have a very good experience. The alternative is if you're only doing a few live shows in a day, you can connect, do your live show and disconnect and then let the cloud run the rest of the time. This way you can use your computer for anything else you want to do instead of broadcasting. Next, I want to talk about the situation where you might have limited upload bandwidth. Remember your internet connection, when you download stuff from the internet, that counts as your download bandwidth. But when you're submitting or posting or streaming, that's your upload bandwidth. And with a lot of internet providers, you might have a fast download speed, but a very slow upload speed or limited capacity in your upload. And especially if you have multiple um, encoder set up like I have on my account here. I have one 128 Windows Media, a 64K ASC, and then a 320 kilobits per second MP3 file uh, stream. Now, if you add those up, I need at least that plus a little bit of headroom in upload capacity on my bandwidth. Your connection may have struggled to provide that much um, capacity. So by using Sam Broadcaster Cloud, the nice thing is you stream only a single high quality source stream to the cloud. And the cloud will then redistribute that stream to multiple, in multiple formats to multiple servers. The other nice thing about using a single source stream and the cloud system is that the encoders and statistic relays are pre-configured on the cloud end. So on the SAM broadcaster side, you simply sign into the cloud using your credentials, click connect, and you, the encoder connects, and you're getting a listener count of how many people are listening to your stream. So it's extremely easy to get going. The third way, the cloud can be a really awesome addition to your broadcasting tools, is if you have multiple people helping out in your broadcast. Say you have three or four people that do a live show each day. Transitioning between them might be a bit tricky if they're not in the same location. So Sam Broadcaster Cloud has the ability for a second DJ to connect to the cloud and then seamlessly switch between the two. So let me go ahead and show you how that works. Um, I'm already connected as the live stream currently at the on-air source. And I'm gonna go ahead and start up Sam Broadcaster Live DJ. Now Live DJ is a free version of um, Sam Broadcaster that's available to DJs that has a DJ login on your cloud account. And I'll show a bit more of that in a moment. But what you'll notice here is if I open it up, let me just go to this view. So you can see the name here is Sam Broadcaster Live DJ. So it's a different edition. And you can see here, it's showing me that demo at spatial.com is broadcasting. If I open config here, I can see I'm logging as dj1 at spatial.com. 
So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and connect my live stream. Oh, I also want to start music. Let me just mute there so the audio doesn't play over my speakers. And what will be happening here is that my live my live DJ stream is now connecting and buffering, but it's not actually the on-air source yet. I can either wait for demo at spatial.com to disconnect and then I will become the on-air source or if I decide it's my time and I really need to start my show right now I can simply click the switch now button or I can say switch on track chains so as soon as the currently playing song on, on demo at spatial.com's computer finishes I'll become the live stream for the purposes of this demo I'll go ahead and do a switch now and what you'll notice is that it will only take a second or two and then I become the on-air source. So now demo at spatial.com is still broadcasting to the cloud, but it's not actually on air. What that means, it's just on standby and its audio is not being broadcasted to the listeners connected. The only audio being broadcasted to listeners is the ones that's marked with green and that's currently my DJ at spatial.com login. So as you can see, it makes it really easy for multiple DJs to connect to the station and then you can seamlessly switch to the next DJ without the risk of listeners dropping. Um, because the old way for especially shoutcast was where you kick the user that's currently streaming off the server and then you quickly connect your own stream. But if there's a too long delay in that process, all your listeners get dropped. The cloud way that we're doing here doesn't have that risk. And if both live streams disconnect, it then rolls back to the cloud that will serve as an additional backup. The fourth thing I want to talk about is how some broadcaster cloud makes it so much easier to embed the player on your website and also show now play information, song history, as well as browse your library. Now Sam Broadcaster Pro does ship with a PHP team website template and an HTML website template but those can be tricky to get working and especially integrate into your web hosting provider. With Sam Broadcaster Cloud the process is so much simpler. All you have to do is log into Sam Broadcaster Cloud and then go to this widgets area and there you have quite a few options of how to enable these features on your own website. The first thing you might want to do is just use the website provided for you. Now this site um, will show your station name, your logo, it will show you what's currently playing and if there's album cover art available it will also show the album cover art and also allows listeners to buy the CD. So, and there's also embedded player, so it's a quick and easy way to get going without any effort at all. But if you already have your own website, um, there's multiple other ways. You can embed um, widgets into your website by just cutting pasting simple HTML code, or you can download the website template, which you can then customize. So this makes getting your web page up and running a lot simpler. And it will also display um, in the library both songs that played on the live stream as well as songs that played from the cloud. You can see here the items indicated in grey is actually coming from my live stream and the items here played from the cloud. It doesn't matter which side played it, both will be available on the website. So there you have it, four great ways how the cloud can help you in your broadcast every day. The first way is simply being a backup for your live stream, so if it goes down, it's there as a backup. Or if you wanted to, just do a short live show every day and let the cloud run the rest of the time so you can free up your computer to do other things. Secondly, you might not have enough bandwidth to stream in multiple formats at the bitrate you want. By using the cloud, you can send a single source stream and that will be distributed in the formats and bitrates that you require. The first thing is that you can have multiple DJs broadcasting to your station and then seamlessly switch between those. And if all the live streams go down, it falls back to the cloud. 
and each DJ also gets a free copy of Sam Broadcaster Live G DJ included. So you do not have to buy any additional copies of Sam Broadcaster Pro for them. Finally, website integration is a lot easier with Sam Broadcaster Cloud. You simply cut and paste um, some HTML snippets on your site, or you can use the pre-existing website or you can use the website templates to modify it to your needs. So there you have it. Four awesome ways that Sam Broadcaster Cloud integrates with Sam Broadcaster Pro. Go ahead and sign up for Sam Broadcaster Cloud so you can experience all these great features for yourself.